Yo, what's good? It's your boy Gabba, posting a video about the ranked perks, all the perks in the alpha build of Call of Duty Vanguard. Worth ranking, what's worth getting and what's not. Some of them are quite cheap and some of them are expensive. At the moment, in my first initial uses, I found zero use for some of them. So let's get into that list from one to seven. So in seventh place, we're going to put Forward Intel. Currently, Forward Intel does two things. It increases your minimap. Here they are side by side with and without the perk. But it also does another thing that I cannot show you because it's so bad. Pretty much the moment you can buy this perk at $1,500, everyone on the opposition will have Ghost by now. Of course, Ghost is available for less money and is actually quite an amazing perk. If you were to down someone, they respawn. You're supposed to be able to see where they respawn, but not when they're wearing Ghost. So this perk is a little bit pointless right now and a little bit overpriced. Maybe they'll change that in the future. Currently, do not buy Forward Intel deserved winner of the seventh spoon of last place. In sixth place will be survival training. Ordinarily you'd love to have battle hardened. This is pretty much the same perk. It of course stops stun grenades and gases going off. Now here it is. Um, here's yourself being stunned. This is what it actually does to you. Now when wearing the survival training perk, this is the effect it has on you now. Barely no difference. I don't really see any point buying the survival training for a thousand dollars. It's not really going to do much to protect you, so I would leave that. Sixth place, survival training. Fifth place is double time. At $500, it's not a bad purchase, but it does two things. One, it increases your tactical sprint, aka getting you into more danger. I don't, don't use it. And the crouch movement speed. Now, at the moment, the sound in this game is ridiculously off. It's a, You can run through walls silently. You barely hear anything at any time, so there is no point in trying to be stealthy. The crouch movement speed being increased, why do it? Why crouch? You might as well just walk around ADS. I don't see the point. So crouch movement speed is not a bonus at the moment until they, they correct the sound in this game. And therefore double time will probably make it up the list. But currently in fifth place. Now the top four perks are really hard to decide between. They're all pretty good. Demolition, I'm gonna put in fourth. This is a new perk that allows you to see the arc of your grenades that you throw. Kind of unusual, this is new to Call of Duty. I've not personally seen it. Maybe it's been in the mobile games, I don't know. Maybe someone could let me know down in the comments. Do you buy this perk? Demolition lets you see the arc of where you throw grenades and here's an example of it. I will be honest, I don't think I'm gonna use this too much being that normally by now you can judge the distance of a grenade, but you may pull off some pretty cool shots with this. In the future, we'll probably see a montage of people pulling off some crazy grenades, bouncing off five different walls to kill someone. But for now, in fourth place, it's going to be the Demolition perk, and I think this is quite cool to see an actual new perk added to the game. And in third place, we're going to put High Alert. Your vision pulses when enemies outside of your vision can see you. Although I'm a big fan of this perk, it does allow me to be a bit more aggressive. I actually think the other two perks are a bit better. So High Alert, of course, you see what happens on the side of the screen when someone's looking at you and you don't quite see them. It gives you the heads up to keep moving and then maybe look over your shoulder because they're probably chasing you down. So high alert in third place. So in second place has to be a good perk. It's made it this high up the list. It is, of course, Tracker. Not only can you see where footprints are, of course, it is a really great way to find out where enemies are to chase people down. It also disguises where you die and it shows where the enemy are dying. If you know where they die, you can have a better chance of predicting where they are gonna respawn. And of course, when you die, it doesn't grant any information about that to your enemies, where your loot is, of course. It's really, really good for that. So information, if you are struggling to find enemies, this is probably gonna be the perk for you. Late game, of course, people aren't really buying UAVs anymore. So you could even buy this over Ghost on some occasions if you feel the enemy's probably not gonna buy a spy plane. They're gonna upgrade their own weapons, etc. Get tracker as soon as you can. Up next in the first place is Ghost, but look at the description. Undetectable by spotter aircraft recon perks. So we know the perk recon will be here, something that grants you additional information by causing damage. When moving, it has to be moving to grant you this ghost ability, so do not sit still, I ain't gonna do nothing. You won't be showing up when planting bombs, and of course, diffusing them, and even controlling kill streaks. We know there are no kill streaks to control really in the 2v2 uh, tournaments, but my goodness, Ghost is an overpowered perk. <clears throat> you should really be buying this ASAP. I need to get a drink, hold on. 
Sorry, if you're interested in winning more games of the two versus two, just buy the spy plane as quick as you can, get those kills in, take their money, win, and of course buy Ghost as early as you can. Ghost is a game changer. I don't even know if we really need it in the game currently, but I don't know. Anyway, let me know down in the comments what you think. My name is Gabba. If you learned anything at all, why not subscribe for more? And of course, drop a like for the algorithm. Big up yourself. Have a great weekend. And I hope to see you on more games of Vanguard very shortly.